Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Millionaire by 25. Today on this lesson, we'll be going over to the anatomy of viral videos. Now, there are certain traits that most viral videos seem to share in common and I'm going to be sharing those traits with you in this lesson and how you can implement these traits into your own video practically. So don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video. The video course will start right after the intro. Alright, welcome back. So here are what we are going to be covering in this lesson. First of all, why videos go viral on YouTube. Aspects of those videos and the traits of those videos. How do we include those aspects and traits within your own videos? How do we increase watch time and audience retention with a couple of cool tricks I'm going to be showing you? And finally, how to boost your subscribers view ratio, which means boosting the percentage of people that subscribe based off of the percentage of people that watch your videos. First of all, let's look at the biggest factors of viral videos on YouTube and why videos go viral. Now, to really understand this, we have to go over the biggest YouTube ranking factors in order. Now, YouTube actually doesn't say what their absolute biggest ranking factors are, but I figured out which factors are the most likely to get your videos to go viral. And the number one factor is session time. Now, this is how long someone stays on your YouTube after watching your video. This is one of the biggest ranking factor on YouTube. So the goal is to keep people on YouTube after they start watching your video as long as possible. The number two ranking factor is watch time. Now watch time is the total number of minutes that your video gets watched. This is different from our number three factor which is audience retention. Audience retention is a percentage of which most people watch your video and a higher percentage is always better. Now I'm going to be showing you what is in my opinion the best video length so you can weigh all this out and these I have found to be the best sweet spots and the gold lock zone for viral videos. And then the number 4 ranking factor is click through rates. Click through rates is based off your title and thumbnail and it is the percentage of people that click your video based against the percentage of people that see your video either in search results or in the suggested video tab so click through rate is incredibly important and in this module i'm going to be showing you some cool tips and tricks to increase your click through rate as well as all of these other factors and in the fifth biggest ranking factor on YouTube, in my opinion, is audience engagement, which is the amount of likes your video gets, the amount of comments, the share, the backlinks, external embeds in which your video is embedded on external sites. So I choose to put views in this audience engagement category. A huge misconception is that views are the most important ranking factors on YouTube, but I see that so far from the truth. A long time ago, YouTube began favoring session time and watch time and how long videos could keep users on the platform. And that is because YouTube makes a lot of money if it can keep people on the platform for as long as possible. So this is part of the reason for these ranking factors to be in the order that they are in. So I like to say the sweetest spot is between 10 to 15 minutes long, videos within 10 to 15 minutes long, although some videos can exceed. But most of these videos have an audience retention of over 60%. Most have a click through rate of over 5% and here are some of the best tips and tricks that I know on how to get these percentage on your own videos and how to incorporate these into your own videos. First of all, how to get your videos achieve the factors of success on YouTube. You can boost your video audience retention by first thing in the video, hinting at what's going to be shown later in the video. Avoid long endings. If you can chop out that end of the video that most people drop off, it will drastically improve your audience retention rate, which is a huge ranking factor as well. And you can boost session time, having call to action to keep people on YouTube at the end of the video. 
I always recommend actually linking a playlist because a playlist will keep people going through video by video that you put together rather than just linking a video and hoping it keeps people on YouTube. So you can boost your subscriber to view ratio by giving an incentive for people to subscribe and straight up asking people to subscribe. Now here's how to practically implement these into your video. Here's a channel that I like to reference called Top 15s. Now what makes Top 15s very different is that they get straight into the video with no intro whatsoever. Now this keeps people hooked because the moment they click the video, they are already getting the content they clicked on the video for. They do like Top 15 scary videos, Top 15 creepy, haunted videos things of that nature. You guys can go check out their channel. Now, while this works good, I actually recommend doing what I like to call a hook intro. Here's an example of how to exactly do that. Now, you're going to first of all want to preview what's going to be shown with dramatic music. So for example, if you're making the top 5 scary ghost videos, put some really dramatic music at the beginning of the video, flash between all the videos that are going to be shown at what you think will be high audience retention points, and then get straight into the first video. So this is how to drastically improve the audience retention and your watch time on your video. So basically, this is how to practically implement this if you are running a personal brand channel. So here's the bottom line of the viral videos. Make videos between 10 and 15 minutes long, although there are some exceptions like if you're doing a movie, a short, or you're doing uh, a podcast, uh, relationship advice, there's some that can be quite engaging. Depends on how you craft or articulate your video in a way that it doesn't become boring, all right? Now, constantly hint as to what is going to be shown later in the video. So if you have that in the intro of your video, at the beginning of your video, you have that people would want to watch to see what they saw at the beginning till they watch to the end and continue to do this throughout the videos not just at the beginning yeah you can be creative with that so let's say you run a personal brand channel and you're teaching people how to make money online throughout the entire videos continue to constantly hint towards the next tip and tricks and strategies that you are going to be teaching remember i said this might not apply to some video concepts but you can always have a way of keeping them to the end of the video take for instance your intro has one or two things that the video is going to be talking about and some of those things you actually caught from the end of your video towards the end so people would want to watch to see everything and in all always ensure that your video from start to finish is engaging now let's say you have a video of the top five tips on how to make money on youtube you first of all hint before the intro as to what's going to be shown in the video then maybe you want to show some of your analytics show some social proof like if you watch our Fiverr series, you'd see some of the proof we try to put out there. Although some of those videos are more than 15 minutes, there are some tutorials that just need to go straight up. It's not a rule written on a brick that it must be like this, alright? So let's continue. And then you show the first method and as you're showing the first method in the middle of what method and that tip, you can talk a little bit about the tip you're going to be showing later in the video. Now this will drastically improve your audience retention and it will really help keep people on the video. This applies to list channels as well. Also, remember to make videos similar to videos that have already gone viral. We've already covered how to do this in the previous module. Like I said before, none of these rules are set on stones. But I'm telling you what I have learned to help you find a system that works for you. Now, a lot of people want to lengthen their videos to go into 30 minutes even if that video deserves to fall within 10 to 15 minutes. Don't do that. When you do that, you make the video boring, except you have things to keep the people. All right. Now, in the next lesson, we will be going over how to systemize your videos and I will even give you some templates for both list and personal brand channels to make it easier. And I think these templates are going to really help you guys a lot to really help you practically implement everything that I'm teaching you guys in here. Now, none of these rules are completely set on stones, like I said. So by giving you guys these templates, you'll be able to look at them and modify them to whatever type of channel that you will be running. So I hope this lesson has helped you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next video lesson. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a new video. See you.
on the next video course.